Okay, this is the modulator, ETR modulator, off on 1996 Avalon. It's got the 3.0 V6 in it. Uh, part number 25870-62020. And the problem the car's having, it's got the pesky code of P0401, which is insufficient flow to the EGR. So we diagnosed this as being bad. And ways to figure out if it's bad or not is you can blow into the P port, and if you have flow, it, it's got to be a fairly a strong flow that you're blowing through it because it is a small hole. And But on the top here, there's a filter. We initially took this filter off and it was very dirty. Uh, but the way we really diagnose it as being bad is the diaphragm is blown out. If you blow into here and air passes, then it's blown out. When you blow into the bottom port, air shouldn't be able to pass through. Likewise, if you apply vacuum. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to take it apart and see what it looks like. If you wonder what it looks like, we tried cleaning out. We sprayed a ton of carburetor cleaner in there. and didn't seem to fix it. So I'm going to tear it apart with my Dremel here and see what it looks like. Seemed easy enough. Got this metal band on here. I actually thought about trying to save some money and take the band off. Well, it's not coming apart very easy. That's it. I think about taking a band off and then putting it back together. It takes some money. A new one of these on eBay cost us roughly 50 bucks. We picked up one at the junkyard for $10, threw it in there, and it solved our problem. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now and resume it later. Okay, I'm back again. Um, actually, all I had to do was take a screwdriver after I split it a little bit and hit it like so. Comes apart. It looks like a pole ring attached. Well, actually, it's a diaphragm, like it says on the internet. So, see, we actually did clean it up. As far as it blown out, I don't see any holes in the diaphragm. Bottom of it, it's a spring. Oh, it is blown out. Yes, here it is, right here this hole right there and that's what our problem was what I read on the internet is that it's either this modulator goes bad or the switching valve switching valve seemed to be an easy um, check or a test to do on the switching valve basically you can hook up your multimeter to the switching valve and you check the, the two contacts and it should be around 36 ohms the other test you do with a switching valve is you hook up a 12 volt source to those two uh, terminals on the switching valve and it should click. You should be able to um, shut off the airflow in that valve. Uh, 
what's been said on the internet, you should hook a vacuum up to that valve and see if it holds vacuum. But it's also been said that if it's got a small leak in the valve, it will, it will do fine and won't throw that code. So if you're having this trouble with the P0401 code for a Toyota, you might want to check out this valve. And uh, that's it. Thank you.